TAC Capital. Technical analysis quickly. This is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. Before taking any action based on the information provided on this channel, it is recommended that you seek the advice of a professional licensed financial advisor. Let's do this. All right, welcome back to the channel, everyone. Uh, this video is on Ethereum, which I'm sure you derive from the thumbnail. And the purple wedge that we're looking at here, this is the daily chart, began back here on June 18th. And we've been bouncing around one, two, three, four, came down, missed, and now we're working on our breakout. The meltdown that happened, well, actually twice in the last, what, nine days or something like that, that took place here with this red candle and here with this red candle, these, you know, have, have taken as lower, but we definitely have another big one coming. I don't think we're going to trickle down to here. I would imagine, you know, four days maybe we're going to be looking at another one of these things. But if you zoom in on this, it's kind of interesting what it's been doing. Well, I guess first, let me show you the red wedge that we're in, the one that we're looking at here. I'm going to zoom out a little bit, maybe to the eight hour, just so you can kind of get a better feel for it. We started here, one hit, two hits. That's a third hit. And then we had a fourth hit down here. And now we're working on making it over for our breakout. Well, alternatively, this isn't a fourth hit. The fourth hit will be more like here. And we just move this line, this red line that's going like this, from there more to like out here to incorporate this fourth hit. So then we would still have one, two, three, and then four with our breakout. So we're not exactly sure where we're going to be going on over in here, but we are theoretically working our way out to over. But we're also working our way down from the purple, which our hit was back here, but down from the purple to here. And then we're going to break out. So this red wedge is just the traje trajectory down. Now, just looking at the eight hour here in the Ichimoku cloud, you've got the red Kijin that's kicked out sideways a bit and the green Tenkin looks like it's going to dip down. This could pull up a little bit, which would support the idea of this red wedge I've drawn here, which we'll zoom in on here in a moment. I also feel like this wedge is doing the same thing as the beginning here. So we might have another one of these in us going up this way before we then break down further. And I'll zoom in and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, this is the one hour chart. And this is the first rally up, the current rally that we're in is down here. So we're currently in this one, but I want to compare the two of them. So I'm going to start with the other one. Okay, we came up from, we got one, two, three, four, and then we did our breakout. And then we broke down into one, two, three, four, and then a breakup. So this is one, two, three, possibly four. Let me zoom over here. Yeah, that's the four. And then we just kind of hung out here before we broke down. We never made it back up to the purple line. Now, the fact that this one here isn't actually touching is because when you jump around the different time frames, the lines move a bit. So if I set it perfect here, then I jump up to the three hour, it'll be off. But you get the idea. It's one, two, three, four, breakout. But what I want to draw your attention to is the Fibonacci retracement tool here. So if we actually measure the entry to the top, to the peak of this first run here, okay, if we just consider that to be a straight line, then this retracement takes you to way down here, which if we turn off the drawing tool, it's 1529. And you can see that bottom where it began was 1522. Now, what I say is as a general rule, during a Fibonacci retracement, you'll split the difference between the 0.382 and the zero. Now, obviously right in the middle is nice right here at the 1551, but I mean, it could fall a little short and you miss out if you set your buy here, um, but it could come a little bit over. 
In this case, it came almost all the way down to the bottom right over here. Okay, so then it's telling us that 1618 is our next hit. So let's see if it actually hit it. If you look right here, it got to almost right to the line. You can see that it just missed the mark. So when I highlight it here, I'm at 1724.82 on the right and at 1724.98 on the left. So it's basically a straight line. And if you zoom in on the candle here, you can see that it just missed it. So it's right there. But like I said, it's not perfect, but that's pretty dang perfect. So what I always do is if I'm just setting a, a cell, I'll do it just below it. As a general rule, altcoins, now Ethereum doesn't really act like a true altcoin, but uh, altcoins, especially if they're bullish like Pirate and Atom and um, Engine and so on, they'll blow past it, you know, somewhere up in here before they come back down. But we did uh, at least come really close to hitting it. So this is what I'm talking about, this Fibonacci retracement tool. And now I'm trying to do the same thing down here. If we take the Fibonacci retracement on the first run, we got one, two, three, four. So we peaked right here, and that is 1511. Then we started our retracing, and we're currently way outside the one hour, which Bollinger Band, which we were also back here. So this is kind of indicating to me that we've got to have some bullish movement soon to compensate for that, because, I mean, we're way out here, did not come out up here, or way out here, did not come out up here, you know, so we're way out here, I haven't even touched the Bollinger Band, so you can see that we're not getting a lot of compensation to the upside, and I feel like we're overdue for that. We're also, at least on the one hour, the Bollinger Bands are in this tunnel, and they've come closer together, and usually the tighter they get, the more pressure builds, and then they explode one direction or the other. But because we're outside here already, I would think that the explosion will be up. And there's more reasons for that too. So let me keep going here. The, uh, the retracement tool is taken us all the way down to this point here. This is the lowest, which is 1458. And you can see that that pretty much splits the difference right down the middle. That's pretty perfect. So it came down, touched it here, but then it kind of flopped over. So... At some point, I would expect some bullish action up. Now, if we go to look at the wedges to confirm that, you know, we went up the orange wedge, we came down the white wedge, and now we've gone back up in this yellow wedge, and now we sort of flopped over, and there's not much I can really do with this at this point. It kind of goes with the green wedge. The green wedge, you can see, was transitioned from peak, second hit here, third hit here, fourth hit here. And then, with this being a symmetrical wedge, the fact that we broke up into the wedge leads me to believe that we're going to break up out of the wedge. Now, the one hour isn't the most reliable time frame, and symmetrical wedges on any hour um, are not always up or always down. But it tends to be the way that you break in is the way that you break out. Now, if this, this is breaking into the yellow, the green doesn't begin till here. So this is breaking up into it. So... I think that we're going to be breaking up out of it. And if you zoom out, well, let me show you this whole red wedge situation we've got going on, the one that it started breaking into. As it came down here, this was our first hit, second hit, third hit, and then we've had our fourth hit. And now it's just doing this bounce down. Usually it'll do that and then break out. So the red wedge supports it too. And because the red wedge is a downward broadening wedge, it would indicate that there will be some upside. So I don't anticipate a lot especially considering when you zoom out, we're in this red wedge on the eight hour uh, and we are coming down. We're coming down from the purple at the top of this big purple wedge we've been in since June 18th to the bottom. So overall, we are coming down, but I think we're gonna get a little upside here before we come down some more. But that's it for me on the video, guys. I try not to drag these things out. So, um, you know, sit tight. It's been a pretty crappy day as far as trading is concerned. Bitcoin's not been doing much. It's pretty much uh, boring across the board. Uh, you could have got some good scalp trades in from, you know, here and there, especially if you're using leverage. But just be careful out there if you are using leverage. You know, one, it's the weekend. And two, we just came out of a meltdown. So things are a little spotty. But thanks again for watching. Like, share, and subscribe in the description below. You can sign up to my other socials where I try to update more frequently. Though the weekends have been pretty tough for me lately with family obligations and so on. But 
Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.